Hi, my name is Tony Law from your first four houses. And at the time of filming, it's February 2020, and Storm Dennis is kind of currently battering the UK. So I thought maybe now might be a really interesting time to do a quick video on how to determine if the property that you're considering is prone to flooding. So I've got two websites that I wanna share with you. The first of which is a very factual website, which is gonna give you bang up to date information on floodplains around any area in the UK. And the second one is a slightly more controversial one. It's gonna give you long-term predicted flooding in any given areas. And this one was actually shared with me by Chris Keating, uh, which I really appreciate, Chris, thank you for that. But as I say, it is a slightly controversial one. So let's firstly take a look at the government's own flood map for planning. So I'm going to put in the address of one of my properties. It's actually based in Salisbury. And uh, if I just quickly type in the postcode here and uh, just scroll that up a little bit. Now you can see here, there's lots of blue areas which are clearly showing signs for flooding. You've got flood zones one, flood zone two, and flood zone three. And if I just scroll in on my particular one, which is sitting on Fisherton Street in Salisbury, as you can see here, it's kind of sitting right on the edge of flood zone two. Now the reality is when I bought this property, I did this check and it was definitely not within any of the, the flood zone categories. So I can determine that the flood zone has actually moved, it's actually expanded to now incorporate this property. Had I seen this when I first bought this place, I might have thought twice, I might have been more concerned about the flooding aspects of it. As it is, I've got it, it's a great little learner, but it's just interesting to know that it is now actually on the edge of a flood zone. So the second one I want to show you is the slightly controversial one. And this is actually the Climate Central website. And uh, um, here we are. I'm looking in my kind of hometown in Paul. And if I scroll in here, you can see that all the areas that are potentially at risk of flooding uh, are marked in red. Now, there's a number of settings that you can actually click on. So here, for example, I've currently got it set to the year 2030. Uh, pollution scenario is moderate cuts. You can adjust that. They've even factored in luck. You can have, uh, you can have uh, obviously, it's on medium at the moment. You can have good luck or you can, of course, have bad luck. And it will adjust the model accordingly. It's also the projection type is sea level rises and annual floods. So as I say, if I look around this area, I can see there are certain areas... Let's zoom right in on the uh, one of the most expensive areas in the UK, which is Sandbanks. Uh, I don't live here, I hasten to add. Um, although, you, although I can see it from a telescope. <laughs> you can see that there are clearly, clearly areas around the Sandbanks Peninsula that are definitely gonna be prone to flooding uh, unless things change. And that's only sort of like 10 years from now. The interesting thing though, is if I scroll right out here, you can actually see there are big swathes of the UK. Let's just scroll back in on sort of the Glastonbury area. There are big areas of the UK, which in 2030, unless something changes, are potentially high risk areas for flooding. So the significance of this, I would suggest, is that if you're considering two different properties, uh, maybe costing about the same, maybe where you've got to put the same level of cash into each deal, maybe where they're both going to give you the same kinds of return on investments. But one is clearly sitting in or very close to a floodplain and the other isn't. And you're going to be keeping these properties for the long term. I think this now needs to become a pretty, a pretty significant reason for maybe going for the one that's outside uh, of the floodplain area, the one where there's far, far less risk of flooding. So I know that second one is very much a very much a predicting kind of service, but I'd encourage you to check it out. And I'm going to just scroll right out here one last time just to show one area. You know, if we look in this sort of area up here, around about the Peterborough area, for example, I mean, there's some massive areas that are gonna be really, really high risk. So I hope you don't mind me sharing that with you. I thought it was quite an interesting little exercise. Jump on there, have a little look at where you personally live. And the next time you go and look at an investment property or are considering one, just tap it into these two websites and clarify exactly what level of flooding risk you're gonna open yourself up for. I've put together a completely free mini course for you that will teach you exactly how Liana and I replaced our incomes. Simply click on the link here or in the description box below and I'll send lesson number one straight out to you.